Formula One in schools is split into three classes of entry. Entry class, development class, and professional class. Think of these as stepping stones, much like Formula Three, Formula Two, and Formula One. At regional finals, entry, development, and professional class teams compete alongside each other. They share a few things in common in the competition. For example, the competition format, which is the same for all classes. They all get the same time on track, with four races each. The judging categories are the same, albeit some of the accessibles vary in size. Where they differ, the technical regulations set out for each class. Entry, development and professional class designed to different rules. Awards categories are slightly different, so teams get the chance to fight for awards in their own class. And progression opportunities to the UK national finals and beyond differ for each class. In entry class, teams are awarded points in six areas. Scrutineering and aesthetics, design and engineering, a verbal presentation, a research mission to find out what's next in F1 in schools, and the points for racing. A grand total of 480 points are up for grabs in entry class. Development and professional teams are awarded points in seven areas, encompassing the design process and marketing activities needed to get to F1 in schools. A grand total of 970 points are available for all teams. Entry class is the ideal starting point for F1 in schools, for 11 to 14 year olds for one year only. In entry class, teams compete for the chance to be regional champions, for the privilege to be invited to the UK national finals as a special guest. There's no cost to entry, so the only financial challenge to teams is to create their car. This must be manufactured in one of three ways. Either handmade using traditional workshop tools and skills from the F1 model block, 3D printed as a solid component part with just moving axles and wheels, or fully CNC machined using a 3D CAD file before being machined on equipment such as a Denford CNC router. Teams must produce a simple five-page portfolio detailing the design and manufacture process of their car, a five-minute verbal presentation to wow the judges with their journey as a team, and the option to create a team pit display for their area on race day. Let's take a closer look at the dev class then, which is for 11 to 19 year olds for one year only. Here cars are a step up from entry, but still some way short of the pro class rules. Development class offers the first opportunity to progress to the world finals. To get there, the team will need to become a UK national champion by making it through from the regional finals. There's a small charge of £75 to enter. Teams must make one CNC manufactured race car, two five page portfolios, engineering drawings, a five minute verbal presentation and a purpose built marketing pit display. The professional class represents the highest tier of F1 in schools. Here, competitors from 11 to 19 years can compete for as many years as they wish, with the ultimate goal to arrive at the F1 in schools world finals. Accessibles are much the same as development class, but the pro class have two 10 page portfolios to produce. The top teams from both regional and national finals get the chance to progress for the ultimate dream of competing at the F1 in Schools World Finals. Let's take a look at the cars then side by side. In F1 in Schools, entry development and professional class cars share lots in common, but they also differ in some crucial ways. Let's start with weight. Entry class must start at 65 grams minimum, where development class get a small advantage from having a 60 gram minimum. Professional class can create the lightest cars with just a 50 gram minimum weight. In entry class, teams must start with a no-go zone, a minimum volume for the chassis of the vehicle. This comprises of a basic shape that the teams design their aerodynamic structures around in an effort to create a safe but fast race car. Development class teams must use a slightly modified no-go zone, allowing a bit more freedom for design. The professional class must simply include a virtual cargo, a much smaller volume which allows for much more freedom with the aerodynamic surfaces. Both the entry class and the development class use a standard F1 in schools wheel, whereas professional class get to design, test, modify and finesse their own custom wheels using any materials they see fit. Again, the entry and development class share a standard axle, while professional class can choose their own, with many teams choosing to run low friction bearings as well. All teams are powered by an 8 gram compressed air power pack. This, combined with the minimum weights, can lead to average speeds of 40 km an hour in entry class, up to 50 km an hour in the development class, and an eye-watering 75 km an hour in the professional class. Blink and you'll miss them as our teams race down the 20-meter F1 in schools track, but will any team have what it takes to break the one-second barrier?